So you've deployed your app to the App Store, but now you want to make an update to the app. There are two ways you can go about it. One, make the updates to the app and ask your users to get the updated version. Nah, not so good user experience, right? Number two, make the update to the app without asking your users to update their app. Sounds better, right? So how can you do this? Meet Revo Push. Revo Push is like code push, but better. It lets you send updates to your React Native app without going back to the App Store or the Play Store. Hey guys, it's Omar Shola Dev here and in this video, I will be showing you how you can make updates to your React Native app smoothly without requesting for your users to manually update their app. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so you can encourage me to keep making good and interesting videos like this. So let's get started. So Revo Push is very easy to use. But why Revo Push? Revo Push is built with two powerful parts that work together to make your app update super easy and fast. First, the SDK. Revo Push gives you an open source SDK for React Native. It's actually a fork of Code Push. You know, the two that shut down in March 2025. But don't worry, our team is keeping it alive. We maintain it and we make sure it works with the latest React Native versions and the new architecture. Second, the server. This is what actually delivers your updates to users. We built our own servers that's faster and more stable thanks to a global CDN. So when your users get an update, it's quick and smooth. And here's the cool part. Revo Push works with popular CI CD tools like Bitrise, GitHub Actions, and Circle CI. So you can automate everything and ship updates without stress. Right now, as you can see, we have our basic React Native CLI app and we have just our basic UI. So this is our app, which we want to integrate Revo Push into. And so we'll get started with it. The first thing we'll have to do is to create an account and sign in using our email or whichever platform we like. Then once we are signed in, we have to create an app, an application, and we'll give our app a name. I'll just say test app. Now we'll see two deployments there, production and staging, and we can click into the name of the app to be able to get the production key and the staging keys, which we're going to use in configuring our project. Now the setup is pretty straightforward as everything we have to do is available on the repo push documentation. Now that we've created our accounts, we've registered. So the next thing we'll have to do is to install Revo Push in our React Native application. So here's the Revo Push GitHub repository. And the first thing we'll have to do now is to install it. So I'll copy this uh, from getting started. And now I'll go back to my terminal and paste it there so I can install Revo Push. Once the installation is complete, I can go on to continue with installing the native module for whichever platform I want to use. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm using the Android. Um, I'm using my Android device. So I will go on with the Android setup. And the first thing we'll have to do here is to copy this and paste it inside our Android app build.gradle file. So let's do that. So back here in our code, I'll go to Android app and the build.gradle file i'll be pasting this to the end of the file as stated here so i'll just paste it here and save that now the next thing i'll have to do is to update the main application file So I'm going to copy this um, and go back to my code editor and look for the main application file. It's always located in the SRC resource main and the um, Java and you see main application there. And so we can just paste the first part we copied, which is import Microsoft code push. And then we'll have to copy this and paste it also inside the main application.kt file. I'll just paste it here. And we'll save that. Right now, the next thing we'll have to do is to add the deployment key to our strings.xml file. 
now we can come back here to see how to do that so after setting up our um so we can go to our dashboard and then set up and deployment key for android and then we can copy this and go back to our code editor and we'll have to look for the string.xml file so let's look for it i think it will be in main res and values and we'll see strings.xml and then we can just copy it let me just do this paste it here delete this So there's one more thing we'll need to copy and i'm going to get it from here let me see okay this so this is the getting started in the revo push documentation and i'm getting the code server url code push server url and i'm going to paste it here now we'll go on to save this and this key this particular key is going to be yours you're not going to use mine so i'm going to blow it out here so you'll find yours in the documentation you just have to copy it the way it is and your own key will be in this particular place now to configure this so that it also work on ios we're going to copy this and go and paste it in the info.plist file so let's locate that so back to our code editor in ios my booking app info.plist file i'm going to paste this at the top here and i'm going to replace this with my deployment key which is this the production key and I'll save that. Now the next thing we need to do is to copy this command for Android and run this. But we won't be able to run Revo Push because we don't have Revo Push installed on our CLI. So we'll have to install Revo Push CLI to be able to do this. So how do we do that? Now you can come back to the getting started on the documentation the getting started section on the documentation and you can see the configure cli section here um so now what we have to do is to copy this or you can just click here to copy to install review push cli and i'll paste that here and we'll wait for it to install now once that is installed we'll have to log in and this is a very very important part of the whole setup so i'm going to write this command revo push login and then it will take me back to my browser and since i'm logged in on revo push on my browser already it will just give me an authentication key which i'll just copy and go back to my code editor in my terminal and paste the key there and press enter and once i do that i am logged in so if i do revo push who am i it's going to tell me the email i used to log in now we can now do our deployment now to do my deployment i'll go back to my revo push dashboard and in my applications i'll scroll to the bottom of the screen since i'm installing for android for now i'm just going to copy the android um production uh build and then i'm going to go back to my terminal paste it there and let it run and so i'm going to push updates right now right now i'm pushing updates i'm releasing updates from my app directly to revo push so once that is done i can go back to my dashboard now as you can see here um i released version one of my current app and i released it today and as you can see all the details are here the file size date release the email i used for for revo push and all so that means my my update was released is a production release here now with all what we have just done we have been able to set up revo push and integrate it into our react native app and anytime we release an update we can just do the production deployment right from our terminal here and if we didn't have any update and we just do it the same way then it's going to tell us that there was no update uh since the last um 
since the last deployment you can see it says the uploaded package was not released because it is identical to the contents of the specified deployment current release so we made no changes and that's why it's it didn't deploy the uh it, it didn't deploy currently so that's how to use Revo push to set up your react native application to send updates to your mobile apps so that your users will not have to start manually updating from the app store all the time if you like this video and you want more content like this please click the like button click the subscribe button and share this video to your developer friends as that will encourage me to keep making good and interesting content like this stay blessed